Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how not to make a wooden jointer's mallet. It was new for me, I'd never made one before, I wanted to try my hands at it, and it didn't come out horrible, but I'm just not overall 100% ple pleased with how it came out. I mean, I did some trying, some Shoshugiban techniques that, um, that I really like, I think it gives a really nice look, especially with the handle. For the handle I used oak, you know, I charred it and then lightly brushed it. Then. Um, then I added some oil, linseed oil, heated that up so it could soak into the wood grain and then wipe that off. I think it gives it a really nice effect and look and nice sheen to it. <clears throat> but if you can see like at the bottom here, 
like I I did a few techniques to try and get the hole here where where to put the handle that didn't quite work out for me. At first I was trying to do trying to drill the holes and then I tried using some wood chisels to kind of chisel it out square so I could fit the handle in without having to round it out. But that didn't quite work, so then I ended up just using a spade bit and then just drilling the hole down. But as you can see, it kind of ended up a little crooked. So uh, I decided just to go with it because I figured it was going to be a fail project anyways, but I could still, it could still be useful, still be workable. So I decided to use a little bit of resin epoxy at the bottom here, and then once that's set up a little bit, I stuck it down in there and then just filled it with some leftover sawdust that I had and some type bond, uh, type bond two, and then just packed it in there and let it, let it set overnight. And this is what I got. And it still works. I can still swing it as a hammer and still use it. So that's good, but. Um, hopefully on my next go around it'll be a little bit more centered, a little bit more even and look a lot better. Also when I was, I, I finished this, and you'll see in the video, I charred this piece of wood and I finished it with linseed oil before I added the epoxy. So when I added the blue masking tape, I had a really hard time sticking because the, oil, the surface was still a little bit oily. So, <clears throat> key note, before you don't finish anything until the very end when you're finished and when you're done gluing everything so important note, important note there kids um, anyways hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe for more and I'll be adding it more as time goes on you know different techniques that I've learned and hope you guys enjoy it